G'day everyone, Three Minute Histology with Jamie Chapman here. Today we're going to continue our series looking at different types of epithelium and today's uh, episode is going to focus on simple cuboidal epithelium. Remembering simple means one cell layer thick, cuboidal means that the cells are as tall as they are wide, so little cube shaped uh, lining cells. Usually we find them in ducts and in tubules and that's where we're going to start today. This is this big blue blob here. This is actually a section of the kidney. So out here is the outer cortex. This is the uh, medulla, uh, a couple of parts of the medulla. So we're going to focus on this part here. So um, let's start our three minutes. So I've highlighted a region here that shows some, some simple cuboidal epithelium really quite clearly. Uh, these are some of the um, renal tubules which are sort of draining all the, the filtrate that's passed through the kidneys. Um, and you can quite clearly see these big channels uh, here. And then these blue cells with the the more ready looking nuclei, quite round, perfectly round spherical nuclei here. So this is a, a simple cuboidal epithelial lining. You can see all the nuclei in a row here. Uh, typical of a cuboidal cell is a nice round nucleus, as you can see that there. If we sort of have a look at this um, in a, a little bit more detail, we sort of focus that here. We can actually see that if we um, sort of think about it, this cell is quite square shaped so and unlike my drawing there uh, quite cube shaped um, so typical sort of cube shaped um, so you can see them all in a row here so the cells are as tall as they are wide which is typical of a cuboidal uh, epithelium um, so that's typical that we find in um, the, the kidney tubules. Another area, as I mentioned, that we find it is in uh, ducts of exocrine glands. So this is a section of the sublingual salivary gland, so it sits beneath your tongue. These are all the secretory acini, um, and these are actually mucus acini. Um, we can have a sort of zoom here. So here's our mucus acinus. You can see the lumen of the uh, beginning of the, the duct is being drained uh, into there. Eventually it gets collected into these other uh, intralobular ducts, so within the lobule. And here we've got one of those ducts here. You can see the round nuclei again, with this single row, so it's simple. Round nuclei indicates a cuboidal type of epithelium. You sort of imagine it sort of connecting to this region here. So uh, you can see them there. A little bit, looks a little bit multi layered just because of the angle of section, but uh, over here is a nice example of it being, you know, simple and then these nice round nuclei side by side. So this is, again, a typical place where we find uh, simple cuboidal epithelium in a duct of an exocrine gland one of these early ducts sort of leading away from uh, the um, secretory acinus uh, forming what's known as an intercalated eventually leading to a, a structure called a striated duct. So those are a couple of examples of uh, simple cuboidal uh, epithelium. Uh, hopefully that'll help you with uh, some identification uh, should you run across simple cuboidal epithelium in your uh, histology travels.